Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and once again I'm coming to you with another unboxing video. Now normally when I do these unboxing videos, I am unboxing something that I recently purchased for my own collection. However, this one's going to be a little bit different because I do not own this firearm. It is just on loan to me and the channel for review. And of course, I'm going to be doing a range report on it. However, because this box is so cool, this gun is so new and so many people are clamoring to get it and there's not a lot of content out there on YouTube right now about this gun, I thought that I would unbox it. And I also get the honor from the person that does own this and his name is D. You guys hear me talk about him all the time. He is letting me fire the first shots through this. So he literally just picked this up today or the day that I am filming this. And we met, I gave him the guns that he's lent to the channel. He gave me a few more to shoot and try out. And this was one of them. He's like, I haven't shot it. I really haven't unboxed it. So I'm gonna do an unboxing video for you guys. And we're gonna see what this is all about. Now this might not be a firearm that interests me a whole bunch. I would say on the scale from zero to 10, it probably interests me about a three or a four because it is a little pistol. And as time has gone on, it anything chambered in a rifle caliber that's in a pistol configuration, especially if they're really tiny and really short, I don't enjoy as much as I think I used to a few years ago. But I know right now this is the hot thing to have. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at this box. You can already tell what it is. It's an FN SCAR, but which one? Obviously the SCAR is a rifle. I have a 16S and when I do the range report, I will compare this one to that, but this is the new P15. Yeah, this is the pistol version. So I did notice on the box, by the way, it does say this was imported from Belgium, which kind of surprised me because all of the new SCAR 16s and 17s are made in the US to get around importation issues. So I was really surprised to see this one was from Belgium. All right, so let's go ahead and open this really cool looking box up. And what do we got? Well, we got another case. It's a box within a box. So let's go ahead and take this out. Let's remove the awesome box and set it aside. And then let's take a look at this case. And I really think packaging can go a long way in showing how much a company cares about their product. Here we have an FN branded flat dark earth bag to go along with this pistol. Let's go ahead and open it up. And it seems to be pretty darn good quality. Unzip this. Let's see what we have. All right, so here at the top, we get our owner's manual. We get a registration card or something like that. And we have a little part here. Here's what that is. Oh, it's a charging handle. This one is bent. So maybe they give you a couple of different options. Looks like you get a little bit of swag as well. That's a cool sticker. I'd really like that. All right, and let's turn that flap over. And there we Go! All right, so we get a magazine, obviously, and you know it is an FN branded mag because they have the bottom of it is flat dark earth, the top of it is black, and so when it's in, it looks like the whole thing is flat dark earth. Why don't they just paint the whole thing flat dark earth? I have no idea, but you know it's an authentic mag. It's heavy. I think it's aluminum. Yep, that's pretty nice. You only get one, though. Of course, you get your lock. That's obligatory. First thing I would do if I had a suppressor for this is get rid of the lock and use that bag for a suppressor. And then of course we have the pistol and that is it. So let's get this thing out and let's take a look at it and see what comes on it. And it is strapped in here good. All right, so there it is. So it does not come with a brace Obviously, it can't come with a stock because it's a pistol, but right now we can still have braced pistols. So when I do the review on this, I may have to pop something on this. That is a really, really short barrel. And one of the reasons I said I'm not really a big fan of these anymore is these can get really, really loud. Obviously, this thing is chambered in 5.56. Five, and up here it says Belgium, and it's the SCAR 15P. I think I said P15 earlier, but yeah, it's the 15P. Here's the importation marks from Columbia, South Carolina, and FN USA. Looks like we have a charging handle on this side, and one of the downsides to the SCARs, in my opinion, is they all have a reciprocating charging handle. 
So that just goes with the bolt right there. But of course you can move it to the other side, which I probably would. You do have your adjustable gas block up here in the front, but unlike the 16 and the 17, this thing does not come with any sights. I don't see any other sights here in the bag, so I don't think you get a set. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe D took them out, but you don't get any sights whatsoever. Now D did provide a aim point acro for me to use at the range with this, but yeah, for as cool as this gun is, I think you always need to throw in some iron sights. I really feel like for as much as they charge for these guns, having a decent set of iron sights is not too much to ask. You don't have to put them on, but you need to include them. But while I have it here, let's put this magazine in, make sure that flat dark earth section matches up there. And there it is. That looks really good. I always like the colors of these FN scars because they're all different shades of flat dark earth. So that is what we are working with. So I'm really excited to give this thing a chance. Right now, my excitement level is not too much, but I know a lot of you are really anxious to get your hands on one of these guns. So it looks like we have some Picatinny rail here in the back to mount the brace or stock if you SBR'd it. But besides that, it looks like a baby scar. Yeah, take a look at that. So there it is. The unboxing of the 15P by FN. It's a cool gun if you're looking for something that's this size, chambered in 5.56, and you don't really get much with it. One magazine, no iron sights, but I know a lot of people really want it right now. And of course, if you get it, you will deck it out the way that you want it to be. So there you go, an unboxing of the 15P pistol by FN. So let me know what you think, and I'll try to get the range report out on this one as soon as I can. So, as always, Thanks for watching.